So why do the super rich use family offices and how can you gain access to similar services without having a nine-figure net worth? Well, stay tuned and find out. My name is Tim McNeely and I'm part of a group of successful business owners and we're maximizing our wealth, not just in dollars, but also in relationships and impact. You see, we can't rely on traditional financial advice to get us to our goals. Instead, we look to the super rich and ultra wealthy business owners to guide the way. We need lessons from those who have already made it to the top. You see, we don't have the same resources. We need to do things differently. We really need to pull back the curtains and reveal the often hidden advice and strategies that are used by today's most successful individuals and families. But the fact is, these solutions remain hidden from most of us because relatively few professionals are well-versed in them, and the extremely affluent, well, they don't care to let you know about them. But I do. Welcome to the Inner Circle. So, why do the super rich use family offices and how can you gain access to similar services? Well, first, it's really important to understand what a family office is and how it functions. But ultimately, the key reason that the ultra wealthy establish a family office is it's designed with one mission, and that's to support the financial and lifestyle needs of the wealthiest families. These family offices are very unique in the expertise they provide because they are able to bring in the top professionals, the best of the best in all areas. Even more importantly for you as a successful business owner, these services are now available to you. You just need to know where to look and how to access them. If we were worth a lot of money, $100 million plus, we would have what's known as a family office. And in this family office, we'd go out there and instead of using commercially available advisors, the ones you find in the, the white paper, the yellow pages, or advertising online, we would hire some of the best of the best to come in and support the mission of our family. They would work internally for us and us alone. And they'd provide two main core services. And those two main core services that a family office will provide is wealth management, first and foremost. Now, Wealth management is interesting because if you talk to most advisors out there, when they talk about wealth management, they really mean we want to manage your investments. But it turns out that wealth management is so much more than just investments. And the services that family offices are engaging when they look at wealth management are tax mitigation strategies. It's paying no more than their fair share in taxes. They want to minimize what they have to pay. It's estate planning, getting their money and their assets to the next generation, the people that they care most about. They're really concerned with protecting their hard-earned wealth and making sure that's not unjustly taken, either through lawsuit, divorce, or some other unjust means. And then some of the families have charitable pursuits. They have causes that they're absolutely passionate about and they want to support. So those are some of the wealth management services that a family office will provide. Then you've also got family and personal support, lifestyle services. What might those be? Those are things like bill pay or tax compliance work. It may be having a private aviation specialist on staff or even working with concierge medical professionals, a family doctor who's dedicated to serving your family and making sure you get the care you need when you need it. So that's a broad overview of some of the services that a family office provides. As we dive in and we go deeper, we want to talk about the two kinds of family offices out there. The first is what's known as a single family office. And broadly speaking, this single family office is going to manage the personal and financial affairs of one family, just one wealthy family. And when we do the survey, when we look at family offices, we find out there's maybe about 2,000 out there. But the data t tends to suggest there's actually way more than that, that that 2,000 is just the tip of the iceberg. Why is that? It's because wealthy families want it that way. They want to stay below the radar. They want to gain a competitive advantage against everyone else. And the best way to do that is to fly below the radar. How much wealth do you need to create a single family office? Well, that number we find is about $100 million in investable assets is where a single family office really starts to make sense. The other form is a multifamily office, and a multifamily office, as the name once again suggests, is dedicated to serving multiple families, not just one. The one thing they share in common, though, is a team that has a deep understanding of where that family is, where they want to go, 
What are the gaps and how can they help support the mission of that family? The level of wealth needed to establish a multifamily office, somewhere in that 10 to $20 million range. Big range, but it's a, a good rule of thumb. So how can you, as a business owner who's not worth $100 million or even $20 million, how can you get in the door and how can you get access to some of these same services? Well, the great news is technology has really made this available to everyone. Regulatory changes have been able to bring it down from that $100 million level and really serve business owners in about that $5 to $20 million space really, really well. So you can get access to some of the best of the best out there. You can get access to some great experts through the use of a virtual family office. And a virtual family office enables that team coordination. It enables you to work with some of the top professionals out there. But how do you do that? How do you access it? Well, you access it through an elite wealth manager who's gone out there, who's vetted the team of professionals, who knows the best of the best, and who has a deep understanding of where you are where you want to go, and what are those gaps, and then we can bring in those experts on an as-needed basis. So, is a family office, is a virtual family office right for you? Well, go talk to your existing team of advisors and say, will this help me? Will, will this help me achieve all that's important to me? Or if you're unsure, if you're getting the best advice, then I suggest you get a second opinion. If you'd like more information on how to implement a virtual family office or you want to learn the strategies of the super rich, grab a copy of Becoming Seriously Wealthy. I had the privilege of writing the forward to this book. And in this book, we study what business owners are doing to maximize their wealth outside of the business so they can take care of the people they love, support the causes they care about, and really make that difference in the world. Thanks for tuning into the Inner Circle. I'm Tim McNeely, and I'm in your corner. Get out there and make it a great day.